Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ladies, gentlemen, gamers, and League of Legends lovers, welcome back. We're here to react to not one, but two new videos up on League of Legends channel. So I'm a little late as one of them came out a day ago. The other one came out nine hours ago, but I'm a working man now, which means I am exhausted. I'm not joking. I get very little sleep and I work very hard, but I still come home every single day. Uh, excuse me. To bring home the proverbial bacon, aka reactions to my loving fans, aka my children. So we're going to react to these two things here. We're going to react to Ambessa, the Matriarch of War. I've given my opinions a lot and um, on uh, Ambessa already, both in my patch notes video and mostly in the video covering her. Not much has changed since then, and I can kind of go into a little bit more just to TLDR it and say any updates. But this Jinx one is really the one that's very interesting. Now, obviously, from the thumbnail to the Ambessa one, she looks like a freaking angry um, mother angry gorilla in a way and she is getting the legendary skin aka her release legendary skin which is crazy i believe vi is getting a legendary as well and i don't know about kaylin but she's getting two which makes me think she's getting a prestige even though she already has one i believe with arcade but um things are looking very interesting now that arcane's coming out arcane's on its way they are heavily pushing this shit and i'm assuming the jinx video Obviously, it's arcane theme, but I it says gameplay, so I'm thinking it's going to tease the $200 Jinx skin, but I don't know anything. So this is a raw, fresh reaction. Let's take a look, and I'll talk a little bit about both of these, maybe a little bit more, but we'll see. Anyway, let's get into the Ambessa one. So to kind of talk a little bit about Ambessa, obviously, if you don't know her kid, go look at my other video, but man, is she fucking... She looks busted and broken, the mobility out the ass. She's basically like... A love child between Silas, between Callista, and a whole bunch of other people I'm too tired to name. But she seems ridiculous, and her ult gives her, like, Omni Vamp. It gives her, I think, Pen. And she just gains, like, stats out the ass. And I, I keep seeing clips of her versus Cassante, and I think she's winning versus Cassante, but it is kind of close. But um, it's just really scary how mobile she is. If you're in an immobile AD, you know, kiss your life goodbye. Because she has unfettered backline access because her ult is basically like Yon ult, where it goes to the last person on the line. But unlike Yon ult, it doesn't bring everyone else with her. So really scary to be an AD recently, but um, you know, pretty cool if you're looking to play her, which I definitely am. Live at Twitch TV slash Technics channel, where I'm also doing this reaction. Let's take a look at the trailer. Is it gonna be bloody and gruesome? Oh, she's pissed. Oh, he kind of likes it. Wait, is that the Nexus? Oh my god, that's the new uh, skin line too. The one where she has a legendary in. Luxuries. No, not Sane. He's, Swain's getting the new fucking prestige. But she's breaking the Nexus. Wait, these two are fellow... Oh, these two are fellow Noxians. They can't be fighting. Oh no, she's killing a god. Are we gonna see her legendary with this shit? Oh no, I think we are. Oh my god, that's her legendary. I don't know if it's a good quality legendary either, but it looks crazy with the uh, theme. The red theme looks really good with her. It's a war. Yo, Pantheon wants round two? Look at this shit. She looks amazing to watch though, but... Oh man, look at that crap. Bruh, she looks crazy. Not peace, not mercy, only strength. Blood. Oh my god, she's like a truck. She wants blood. Early Vladimir. Wow. He is ready to go. So one of the only real things I'll kind of say that's left for her is um, I'm really scared that she's going to get um, Giga nerfed because she looks fun as fuck. She also looks broken as fuck. I'm really, really scared she's just going to get nerfed over time uh, into the ground again. She might be similar to Cassante. I hope she's not, but she might be. It really depends how relevant Riot wants to keep her. But Ambessa looks great. The skin looks interesting. Let's move on to the Jinx shit. So what is this shit? This is probably the $200 skin. Let's, uh, let's see. 
It's already clipping through some of the art here, so. Might as well take a look around. It's with in-game models. What is this shit? What the? Is this an end client thing? What is this? Come on, jump. We're gonna go for a ride. Oh, ruins. No chompsy. Wait, what the fuck? Oh no, ruins. Hey, what the hell is this? Oh no, Silco. I don't want to say any arcane spoilers, but. Jinx fixes and everything. What the fuck was this? That has to be an incline event. There's no way. So, that's pretty interesting. Um. In League's newest mini game. Yeah, look, it's. Uh, okay, I can't believe they added a trailer for this. They added a trailer for the client mini game. Again, they're really, really trying to push Arcane. Holy shit. But um, overall, I guess this was mainly just an Ambessa reaction, Ambessa trailer reaction with a little Jinx thing added on as a little extra. I don't even know if I'll put it in the title, but um, wow, some uh, some of these thumbnails are wild. But um, yeah, just to kind of talk a little bit more, I hope Ambessa doesn't get nerfed. Uh, the Jinx thing looks interesting. I really am curious to see what the $200 skin looks like, but it begs the question now overall of just skin quality because... I've said this before in other videos, skin quality for legendaries is going up in certain ways, and for certain skins, they definitely feel like they have the love when everything they get is new. But for other skins, they don't have a gimmick, they have reused animations and this and that, where it kind of brings down the quality, where there's a lot more variance. Overall, the average line has gone up, but in general, sometimes some skins aren't as good as what the average is going up to, at least recently. And it's really weird because it's like it's almost this game of like oh will my champion finally get a legendary and will the legendary actually be a current day quality legendary or will it be a shit one that they kind of just made just to make and i feel like those are uh two separate ones i don't know which one's Zambessa is because again she's not out we don't really know her base stuff too much yet at least i don't so i'm cautious to say that the legendary is that good for her because you know the running animation is basically almost taken one for one from shivana but um we really got to see gameplay wise she looks amazing lore wise i really don't care about her lore but it's arcane themed go watch arcane if you really want to know but uh things are pretty exciting anyway that's the ambassador reaction i hope everyone enjoyed tell me what you think and please watch me at twitch tv slash technic channel tell me if you're gonna play that silly jinx mini game that should better give us something man they give us a fucking reward i knew once i saw the graphics i was like oh yeah this shit's either a mobile game or, or an in client and i was right either way come watch my twitch Eee!